from your scalp to your feet. I need a question when you speak. Let me ask you something. When does old school turn into old? Do you feel there will be a time when old school music isn't favored? Yeah, I, mean, I, I think, think that old music always has its validity, you know, mm -hmm. and it, it got to the top uh, at its time. And it, you know, everything kind of uh, ha has its life. It has its life. sound a little bit. You sound a little bit like you're basing that on seniority. Is that what you're talking about? Like seniority based on the, the fact that they've been around for so long that they should. No, but know? like they were they were popping in their day and like that should be recognized and celebrated. Oh, but like but will, you know, but will it, it may not later? still be. It's never going to always be the thing. Like we're always going to be progressing on to the next thing, always on to the next thing. But you, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. always got to remember what your roots are, where you came from. And that's where the validity still stays, I think. For okay. sure. You know what's what's super clowning is like when CeeLo would make songs that just sounded like they were made in the 60s or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> it was a vibe for sure, but it was like he was hella getting it off. We already did this, man. We did this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I've, I've recently thought about this uh, because one of our shows here at Rainer Avenue Radio is called Star Time, and they basically – it is an old school show, and it actually just hit 300 episodes on the station today. So shouts out to Star Time and Paul Pearson. But, uh, yeah, they play uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and literally just started playing 90s. And I'm like – those those songs from the 50s, 60s, 70s, I feel like they're still going to be played on the freaking radio in 100 years, man. It's just they're going to keep playing them over and over and over every generation, man. Sometimes but I'm you like, realize, like, yeah, go ahead. I was, I was gonna say, like, you know, these kids don't like our old school music, you know that, right? So it's like, I get what you're saying I, I because we agree that. with that. I, 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 a lot of these kids be liking old school music, man. A lot of them. Some of them do. No, I, I can agree. Some of them do. I just don't feel like the majority of them do the way our generation liked the old school music from before us. For sure. For sure. What, what, what's so, your take on like this? Is it exotic? Well, coming as a 23 year old, um, <laughs> I'd say me personally, like, I personally love old school music because, like, I've been raised on that. Like, my family is just very old school in general. Like, my mom had me when she was 38 and now like both my mom and my dad are entering their 60s so like my whole family is just very like mature and just old school and stuff like that but like people are like my current generation like if it's not like like something that just isn't like pushed like all the time that is old school it's just not popular no more mm. like even like like old school is like ancient now like literally like songs that were popping in like 2010s is like old that's mm -hmm. old like why can so, songs in like 2017 2018 old like if you play bobby shimura oh, okay. old bro bro are you what like bro no one's gonna play kid ink nobody's gonna play i mean like people will play mac miller right i mean like if they're like a super big fan of him but if they play like his old stuff they're kind of just like you know what I'm saying? Like, like even like that, like that depressing, like 2018 SoundCloud sound is not even popular. No <laughs> Literally, songs popular today is like, like New York trap. Mm. And then it's like any song that's like that you can dance to that's like under three minutes is like was popular. Today. Well, that's that's also another point that I'm making, man. I don't think the songs from the 2000s and the 2010s are not going to be making the rounds like the songs from no. the 50s, 60s, 70s, no. 80s, even well, 90s. Well, I mean, they they could. I mean, they could. I, just, I, mean, I don't think they're going to be they're going to be that's long jab. I think maybe if you give it cuz I've been hearing now like more 2000 songs be coming up way way more. So I think maybe if you give it like 5, 10 years, bro. Yep. 2000s well, might be pushed just as much as like the 90s. I, I know, I know as much every time I go to the grocery store. I hear Drake, so we're getting, we're getting there. <laughs> well, I mean, like Drake, yeah, Drake is you know, he's, he's still active in the game, and regardless of what you hear. But you like, know that the grocery store doesn't play the hits; they play the old school joints. They the so they're putting school, Drake yeah. in the yeah, grocery yeah, stores yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, 